says watch your fire, so this whole sequence I didn't even fire anything. And as soon as you get out of the tunnel, I go ahead and start doing it again. But what happens is, uh, as soon as you get to the upcoming area, and it's right after this, you're actually going to go through a cinematic of this whole sub just flipping. Now we're back on our ground, and you'll see the cinematic coming up pretty soon. They take care of your truck, but your thing derails the every single car on the whole sub. And I really like these cinematics. But you awaken to find yourself. There was how many of these have there been? Like three or four? Or I think there's at least three or four, maybe possibly more. Is you're waking up and you're like, is this? You can't move. You're like limping. Uh, you're you're sight is all blurry and stuff. There's been three or four of this. It's kind of repetitive, but I guess it's just a different way to do things. I know we had one in the plane crash when we were waking from the plane. Uh, we have one on another level coming up. That's actually like a... not a flashback, but it's the opposite of flashback. It's where you start out in the future and then they do a flashback. Here I am walking. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to run to some more guys. This is the hardest part of the level. You make it past this level and you're home free. It's the very beginning of the subway area. What you want to do is switch out your pistol for something. You're not going to need it, especially on Veteran. There's going to be tons of guys. There's going to be guys coming down low, coming up high. See, there's one here. Go ahead and take his gun if possible. There's going to be guys on top of that, uh, that walkway. There's going to be guys underneath on the right and left. So what I did was I found myself laying here a lot and shooting at their feet. Any grenades come, you just run. I think what happened was I might have killed him before he actually got it off. Don't don't move up to that sign where he's at. Never move up to there. What's gonna happen is those guys actually come around the back of the sign. That's how I died about 13 times. That's where the big glitch was, or the big uh, lag was at the beginning. What you want to do? See right there. He would have walked behind you if he was up there. He probably killed you. So if you can, go ahead and switch out your gun. That's what I'm trying to look for. I'm trying to look for the gun. It's actually back more. So I picked that up. Make sure you finish all your guys. They do get up and they kill you. Take the guys out at the walkway. Go to, if your guy's on the left, go ahead and go to the right. Uh, same thing if it's the opposite way. So he's taking care of the left side, you want to go to the right side, make sure there's no one up top. See how he went straight up the middle? It's because you weren't watching, and neither was he, the actual middle of the area. I re-picked up my, uh, what is it, the P90 holographic, better than the PP90 M1. This was the hardest part in this level, guys. Seriously, this little walkway. There's guys up here spawning. There's guys down there spawning. You don't have to run up here. There's no point to doing that. There's going to be a couple guys maybe right there. Hiding behind the chairs like you were in the beginning of the level. And there's going to be guys down the hallway. So I go back here. 
try to pick up any ammo I can. You want your guy to move up, and he takes care of this dude that's probably would have killed you. There's gonna be a couple guys around the corner, so watch it. If you want to chuck some grenades out there, this is almost the end of the level, and there's not a lot of use for your grenades. Except in maybe one area. The AI is also a good body shield. And what I did was I came over to this side and I... Uh, just try to take out these guys around there. I don't know why I didn't zoom in. What happens is, as soon as you run up here, guys are gonna come start coming down. Or just the grenade. Yep, guys coming down. Nope. Okay, this is this. This is actually the escalator where you're actually gonna have falling grenades. And your best bet is to kill these guys, run up there, and then as soon as you see the grenade, go ahead and throw it back. Checkpoint reach, now you're gonna see grenade. Throw it back. Go ahead and just stay up here, try to take out anyone you can see. Uh, this is actually going to be another intel. I do believe this is the last one of the level. Right behind that counter over there. I try to hop it just to make sure I don't put myself through any uh, checkpoint line or anything because you move up too far, guys might come down. So you want to go up this side, start chucking grenades. There's gonna be maybe five guys up here. Go ahead and take care of them. You're gonna run into two more guys. Except they're gonna give up. I was gonna kill them. I didn't know if that would end it or not. And here is the end of the level. Besides the um, sad little ending. Like I said, I will put a probably an annotation on screen, maybe a link in the description to the unlisted slash private slash whatever it is uh, of the, uh, the deleted, very controversial scene. Like I said, it made me it made me sad. And I'm a 23 year old male that plays violent video games for a living. So, see you guys in the next level.